From the Journal of Aframus Long Journey, Pilgrim, with notes by Avos Tor, scholar of Reeve Library. Byrod Day, 14th cycle, 7th year, 81st turn. Sixth day in the trees. The kittens are hungry. I'm sure of it. But they won't eat. I've tried everything I can find. But they won't eat any of it. I'm certain that they're meat eaters. With those sharp little teeth. Why then won't they eat the birds or small animals I've caught for them? What did their mother feed them? If not these, I've even tried feeding them plants, for all the good it did. Note, it may seem odd that Aphromos didn't know this. However, we must keep in mind that his experience with milk-bearing animals would be limited. I am given to understand Baro nomads feed their hatchlings fresh meat and occasional roots from the time they are born. They are already less energetic than they were yesterday. They no longer climb on me, nor do they explore the campsite with the same interest. They mule loudly, and I worry about how long they can last without food. They've already begun to attract predators. This evening, after I'd made camp, I heard something nearby in the bushes. On the edge of the firelight, I saw a strange creature. It walked on two legs, but it had a head like a jackal's, and it wore no clothing. Its body was covered with coarse, brown hair. It was not carrying any weapons, but when it opened its mouth, I could see long, sharp teeth. I could hear other things moving around us, presumably others like it. I stood up, and I opened my mouth, showing my own teeth, and looking it in the eye. As we stared at each other, I let my robes drop, covering the kittens, and puffed up, making myself look larger than I am. After a moment, it turned and left, and I heard the others move away too. Note, clearly a pool's wolf. These predators are cunning hunters who use pack strategies to take down large herbivores. It is unlikely that they would have attacked Aframos in any case. While a pack would certainly be capable of bringing him down, he would be outside their food paradigm. They were more likely more curious than anything else. Still, one cannot forget that Etremor Pool disappeared under very suspicious circumstances. They never did find a body. I built the fire up after that, but it will be a long time before I am able to sleep.